So thank you, Ben. I'm going to present you a project that I've done in collaboration with people at MIT. And our motivation is that for photographers, when they take an outdoor picture, there's a very short amount of time when the light is right. And to illustrate that point, I'm going to show you a few pictures that a photographer has posted on his blog. And for instance, here's a scene where the lighting has nothing special. And a bit later, it starts to be better, but it's not quite what he had in mind, because what he wanted is this nice, dark blue sky that we see here. And to make his point clear, he also took a picture a bit later when the sky now is too dark, and this is not a good shot anymore. So this is a real challenge for photographer to be there at the right time, and there's a very short window every day when a scene looks great. And we wanted to help. So we have designed an algorithm to change the time in a picture. And to do that, the first step was to teach our algorithm about the colors in the world. So we collected many time-lapse videos, more than 400, in many different places all over the globe. And these time-lapse videos, they show us cityscapes, countryside, and how the colors change uh, during the day. And I'm going to show you in the demo how we use this information. So let's look at an actual demo. So I'm going to show you a picture of Singapore. And I would like to do a night picture out of uh, this uh, shot. And I don't want to do anything, so it's going to be fully automatic. And the first thing that our algorithm does is to find that Dubai looks close enough to Singapore. So it's not exactly the same, but it looks close enough to be useful. And then we are analyzing how the colors change in Dubai from day to night. And we are going to apply the same change of color over the Singapore picture. And I'm going to show you that uh, as soon as it's done. And remember, no user interaction, only the algorithm. So let's look at it. One picture, no user interaction. So if you look closely enough, you're going to see that it's a fake. It's not a real one. But I think we can all agree that it's good enough to be useful in many situations. So I'm going to show another example. Same scenario, a single picture. But this time, I've pre-computed everything, so we don't have to wait. And you see that we found a scene that looks close enough, but not exactly the same. But it's useful enough to tell us about the color change. And also, one difference here is that instead of computing one time of day, I computed all the possible times. So what I have is a video that go from day to night. So the first thing I can do with that is actually to show you what this would be during the day, like this one. But where it starts to be powerful is that I can actually control everything I want and choose exactly the time of day I want from this single picture, no user interaction beside what you see me doing right now. So again, that was only the algorithm. I didn't do any Photoshop here. And the last thing I would like to show you is actually that we can also run the same algorithm on a painting. And now we can answer questions like, what if Van Gogh would have painted the famous starry night during the day? <laughs> <laughs> so for instance, could have looked like that. Wow. <laughs> and again, I've pre-computed all the time of day, so I can change continuously and choose exactly the way I like it. Go, to, for instance, a starry night later in the night or earlier and fine-tune exactly the way I like it. 